Welcome everybody to this Let's Learn Maya Crash Course where we're going to be learning the basics and fundamentals of the Maya software. Um, so let's jump straight in. Okay guys, so first of all we're going to have to set up our project. This is the first step um, with any project that you do and I highly recommend uh, this due to keeping all your files together, saves any loss of files and it keeps everything nice and tidy, especially if you're handing it to clients etc. So if we go to File and we can go up to Project Window click on that um, then we can click new and then we can choose the name of our project so I'll just call this tutorial and the location can be on the desktop doesn't really matter uh, you can choose that wherever you uh, feels best and then we can click accept but before that just to highlight these are all the subfolders that are going to be included in this master folder so if we do that and then we can come onto the desktop and we can open up this file now um, and then you can see all these folders and just to quickly highlight um, if you have any FBX files for example my Boeing 737 cockpit FBX file which is purely a 3D model file that can pop in the assets folder because it is an asset however big scenes like Blockout 1 which I'm currently working on will go in the scenes folder and then any texture sheets in source images so keep that in mind but we'll go back into um, Maya and then what I'll show you exactly what I do. So say you've made a masterpiece there. I'll use a cube for example. You can just go to file, save as and then go to your desktop and then choose tutorial and then it goes in the scenes folder and then I usually call this um, tut and then hashtag 001 or don't even need that just tut 001 um, and by doing that what I'll do is I'll do that save as and then say I add another step Imagine each shape is 20 minutes worth of work. Oh, okay, let's save it. I'll never go file save because if I lose it, I've lost everything. So after every step, I file save as 002 and then save. So then that way you can keep a nice progression of your files and it saves any major loss just in case one file gets corrupted. Okay, so that's uh, the basics to creating a a fold of project sorry inside of Maya and the next show we're going to look at the Maya interfaces and what kind of stuff will help you for modeling animation etc so thank you guys see you in the next tutorial